Uh, looking this way, waving. This could be my video. Now begins the tale of a paddling trip gone wrong. Heavy rain was falling, but the crew still came along. Packing lots of gear so they could camp overnight. In their haste to paddle, no one checked the river hide. The rain came down in squalls, the west coast was soaked. Spirits were not dampened, the paddlers they were stoked. Starting down the river as the weather just got bleaker. Jordan in his half slice was wishing for a creaker. The first drop had a log and they crawled into the scrub. They shoved and dragged their way through rotting logs and mud. They burst onto the river to find a sticky hole. Andy boofed right through it, survived without a roll. Russell then lined up the hole and shot through it with pace. But Jordan was stuck in the hole, despair was on his face. The swim was fine, the throw went good, and Jordan was okay. Upon the shore he looked and saw his gear floating away. Russell left to chase the gear alone, hot pursuit. Jordan's boat had let him down a tricky twisting chute. He dropped an edge and flipped, and then everything went dim. Pushed up against a wall, he decided just to swim. Kerry had been watching all this carnage from the top. It was her turn to paddle, so she tried to boof the drop. The hole was very sticky, and it overturned her boat. She grappled for her gear, but down river it did float. Gemma was last and cruised down nice and steady. No sign of Kerry's paddle, Jordan's boat was in an eddy. She tried to ferry to it and ensure it was collected. Was pushed against the wall and like Russell was ejected. Andy had been chasing gear which was a busy time. Discovered Jordan's boat and secured it with some line. Where the hell is Russell? He muttered with unease. But a little further downstream he was hiding in the trees. Below a narrow drop, Russell's boat floated downstream. So he charged towards the drop and boofed over a seam. Just as he had caught the boat, a paddle did appear. He scrambled to collect it and rescue all the gear. And he brought the boat ashore and made sure it was draining. But then he saw a boat float down, silently complaining. He got back in his kayak to resume the rescue slog. And chased the boat until it pinned, then hauled it off the log. The swimmers met up in the trees with fear in their eyes. Looking down upon the stream, praying it won't rise. They thought about a walk up, but the riverbank was steep. Defeated by the river, they decided they would sleep. All right, so I've had a good time on the river so far. We had uh, four swims in five paddlers, and we've made it all on the same rapid. Eight, 800 meters. Yeah, about 800 meters. Out of lost two paddles. Yeah, out of 34 <laughs> kilometers, was it? <laughs> what do you think we should do? Put a boat on. Yeah. Walk out, paddle on. Paddle on, we'll paddle on. We'll paddle on, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, sleep first. Sleep first, yeah. When morning came, the river level dropped a tiny bit. So they decided nervously they didn't need to quit. Paddling down with portages was going very slow. But when they reached the Henty, they did not have far to go. They blasted down the Henty and drove back into town. Everyone was buzzing as they tried to calm down. A little bit of sadness, now the trip was done. The trip down the Yolande was some perfect type to fun.